This conveyor belt actually originates from the motor production department at Nilfisk's Copenhagen factory. For decades, the company made its own vacuum motors. And on the conveyor belt, you can see each stage in the production process until installation of the motor in the finished product. The Nilfisk motor was simply too good, and the company had no option but to cease its production in 1997. If you had a Nilfisk vacuum and there was something wrong with it, the problem was always, or nearly always, in the motor. With the vacuum's click system, you could simply unclick the motor, take it down to your Nilfisk dealer, and ask him to have a look at it. And, of course, he would. But thousands of owners would also replace the carbon brushes themselves. And when they had done that, the motor was good for another 25 years. And no company can survive on those terms. As mentioned, Nilfisk stopped making vacuum motors in 1997. It was simply too expensive. The motors were just far, far too good so good that it wasn't worthwhile continuing. The company employed 106 people in its motor production department and all had to be made redundant. Strenuous efforts were made by the company to find them new work. So instead of producing motors in-house, Nilfus began importing them from elsewhere. And just maybe the new motors were not quite as robust as those that the company itself had produced for so many, many years. But this story has a classic parallel in Danish industrial history. The TV manufacturer 2R. This company made some superb televisions and died because the quality of its products was far, far too good. When you have a production belt like this, you naturally also need a foreman to keep an eye on things. He does this not by rushing around, but by supervising activities from his own little booth. This particular booth actually originates from Neil Fisk's Copenhagen factory. From it, the foreman could keep an eye on all the production equipment and make sure everyone was doing his job.